Well, you're gonna head up to the head end? Going up to try by Dale. Excellent. Well, you know, every year we come to the Skeena, you know, we fish our traditional patterns. We've got our, uh, you know, the flamethrower, our bruiser, which is always effective, and I, I have a bruiser I'm gonna start with. But today, and actually this week, we've got a whole bunch of these new patterns. A bunch of these were tied by Brent Schlenker, some Brent Schlenker originals. We've got some also won by Malcolm Ruddock. I've got a bunch that I tied. And really, I want to focus on new patterns. So really, we've got some really cool rubber legs and everything else. So it's new patterns on the Skeena today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. I never know what to start with whenever you got new patterns, but one thing we do know is the steelhead and the coho really like the purples and the pinks and the blues and blacks. I mean, that's just normal colors. So really, you know, good weather right now. We've got overcast skies. I think the steelhead will be moving through. I think there are a lot of coho in the system right now pushing through. So I'm gonna start with the pink. This one, again, I don't know. I have no idea what Brent calls it, but it's got some pink in it. It's got that nice pink rubber legs, got some good flash. So again, this kind of dull conditions, good little starter pattern, something flashy. If this doesn't turn out, then I'll start moving my way to the darker patterns. But this one looks good. The thing about fishing the skinny, you never know when the fish are gonna push through. But I've taken about, you know, 35, 40 casts, had some really nice drifts through these little pockets and not even a touch. I know Dale and Rick up above, they've had a couple of fish on and they're using darker patterns. So obviously trying the pink to start, nothing, not a touch, not a whole bunch of fish through, but I'm still gonna change the pattern. So every, you know, every 15, 20 minutes, take about 30, 40 casts. If you got nothing, change it up. Just make sure and always check, make sure that, you know, the barbs are pinched. A lot of people don't tie with barbless hooks. Make sure she's all pinched up. And I decided to go a little darker. Again, as I mentioned earlier on the show, I like to start with the brighter colors in the dull weather. Didn't get anything. Of course, not a whole lot of fish moving, but still. Now I've got the black and, you know, traditional bruiser pattern, but it's got these little, little pink and blue rubber legs at the end. Looks really kind of cool and it looks great in the water. So let's give this a shot. I know the, uh, I know the sock, I love these darker colors. And of course, steelhead, so. Give it a shot and see. Now well, we got pinks moving through, so I was about five cows after I changed colors. And a good indicator of fish are moving through are pinks. This is a this is a big pink that grabbed this one. Nice size. Get him. Oh, and he's off. So it shows the color change worked. You know that was about five casts after I changed the colors. They don't want bright. They want the. Uh, the darker colors so we're going to focus on the darker colors this morning and again that'll change throughout the day you know this one here started with the pink now that kind of traditional bruiser colors with a little bit of pink and blue in it works and later on you know it could change in a couple hours once they go off this they may go on to the brighter colors again so you got to keep changing all the time now it's a good start A pinky and there's supposed to be very few of them in the system where's my mojo <laughs> <laughs> got the same mojo as Don now with me. I think we got pinkies oh no all pinkies yeah, in here I think so that's what it, wow there are other ones have to come through it's all yeah, that's it's migrating not, today it's not fighting like a steelhead or a no anything it's just fighting like a pink a pinky. A 
Well, mine sure didn't fight like a pink. It has way more spunk. No, than... no. Oh, it's a sockeye. It's not a pink. Is it a sockeye? Sockeye. Oh, it is a sockeye. It's a sock. Oh, maybe mine's a sockeye too. I have a sockeye. Well, the sockeye ripped across the river, right? When have you ever had a pink do that? A nice sockeye. Well, the weight on it. He will be a lucky one. There he is. Oh. Baboosh. No. Stuck myself good, though, with the hook. Pulling that out of there. That's probably the fish that boiled. I saw them rise in there and just threw it in there. Bloop. Trying the little, they really like that, eh? The blue with the little pink rubber tassels. I don't know what the heck you call it. Scoots along and they're good. Looks neat in the water. Look at the size of the sockeye. Holy. What is it? Yeah, look at the size of that. He hit it right in the, he hit it right at the tip of that run and just popped it and came into here. Big sockeye. Big sockeye. Okay, you going down there? Well, I'm gonna have to. It's huge. Everybody ready with the life jacket to throw in? It's a big hey, sockeye. Look at the size of that thing. Wow, 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 wow. That real big sockeye. In the corner there he is. I'm not going to hold him up. Look at it. I can't grab him. Look at the size of that. Oh, there he Whoa. goes. Crazy. Right just here right, on the... Right at that little, right that little yeah, seam. Yeah, little flow on the seam. Yeah, it's just running through there and boom. I thought it was a big coal at first. That's going to be big the biggest so sock I've ever caught. <laughs> I think it's lunchtime, <laughs> eh? Lunchtime. I Rick's smell the burgers. hamburgers. Rick's just got the burgers going. All right. I think it's time to go to the bench. You know, we've had a lot of luck with this pattern today on the on the sockeye because there are a lot of there are a lot of sockeye moving through the system. I don't know the name of the pattern yet because I have to ask Brent, but it's got the black and the blue, and the, really the unique feature on this is the the blue and pink rubber legs, which really wiggle in the water. If you look at it in the water, it's an outstanding pattern. So let's go to the bench and tie you this one up. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up Maltese Judas Priest. You know, we thought it was always uh, Brent Schlenker that designed the fly. You know, I think the whole show we talked about that, but as I found out a little bit later, it was actually Malty Jurgensen, a good friend of ours. So we'll make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the base hook, we're going to use a size 4 SL53 steelhead hook. For the main hook, we'll use a size 4 octopus. For the thread, we'll use 200D black nano silk some purple and hot pink silly legs for the legs, some kingfisher blue marabou for the first collar, and some black marabou for the second collar. So to start the fly off, I've got my base hook in place, and then I've attached 20 pound fluorocarbon onto my trailing hook. And I'm just gonna have it so the trailing hook is, uh, is upright. So you've got this one reversed, that one. We're gonna cut this one off after. And I'm just gonna have it back uh, just a few inches off the back hook and wrap that in. And when you secure it down, bend over that line and go back over it. So you double up on the 20 pound, and that really holds that securely on the base hook. Now that we have the stinger hook tied in, we're gonna tie in our legs, and what we do is we have the pink and the purple. The pink tips with the purple, so we're gonna split them in half, try to measure them up fairly even, and just go past the length of the hook. Now we can cut a bit of these after, but you want to go just a couple inches past your stinger hook and then wrap it in. So now that we have all the rubber legs tied in, I've tied my thread all the way up and created a black body. Now this gets covered up 
by the marabou regardless. And some people like to put in a pink or blue body and I just leave it. So what I'm gonna do is go quite near my eyelet. I'm gonna tie in my, my blue marabou and make sure it's tied in good. And we're gonna do our first collar on the fly. And then we'll wrap it forward. I like to use hackle pliers. And as you form it, just have it pulled back. So when this flies in the water, all that blue marabou is gonna go back and you're not gonna really see the underbody anyways, but it gets really accentuated with a, with a black underbody. Now the blue is tied in, I'm gonna finish off with the front collar and we're gonna do this one in black. It really sets it off. Another option you have is you can do this in purple. You can make it like the bruiser. So a good combinations are the black and the blues and the purples and the blues. And right now with this one, we've got the black. So again, put some hackle pliers on there. And as you wrap it forward, just make sure all that marabou is pulled back. This makes a really nice lifelike pattern. So now to finish the fly off, I'm just gonna whip finish the front, take a few wraps, and you can hit cement to finish it off. I never do, my flies don't last that long, but a good thing to do is finish off with some head cement. So now that I've whip finished the fly, I'm actually gonna cut off that front base hook. So make sure, because we've got our stinger that we're gonna use as the main hook, and we're just gonna cut that off. So there it is, the finished Judas Priest. You know, what really sets this fly off are the rubber legs. They bounce around off the back and seem to drive the fish crazy. I'm back in the I'm back in the calm water. This is crazy. I'm getting them right out front here, and they're going into this calm bay. But I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to bring them in here. I guess I got to go this way. I don't know if it's a sockeye or a, or a coho. Probably a sockeye. That's all that's been running today. You know, we're just getting one after another. The sockeye. Yeah, I don't know. He looks pretty silver, Dale. Doesn't look. I don't know. What do you think? Or is it just a monster? Sockeye. Oh, man. Big sockeye. Nope, big sockeye. Same as this guy. Wow. I just can't believe the size of them. Look at these sockeye. They're just monsters. <laughs> there he is there. Look at the size of that sockeye. Wow. That's the second one I've Look. caught in here. Look at him. <laughs> Holy cow. We'll get him over there. You know, it's crazy. This is a pretty dangerous spot here to go in. It drops off. <laughs> they are. They're clones. They're just huge sockeye. It's their lucky day. I don't want to fall in here, but look at that. Let's see yeah. if I can hold this guy up for everybody. Since they're going back anyways. There we go. They're go oh, gee. They're tough because they don't have a... Right in the tough part of it. Jaw there. There it is. Yeah, look at those. Look at that. Look at the size of that. That's a oh, sockeye. Get... 
You know, that's amazing. Like, that's a supercharged fish. Look at the meat on him. I know. It's their lucky day. Whoa. Oh, look at huh? this guy, too, that you have. Look at that. <laughs> you know, those are a good uh, five, oh, they're six pounds. Five, yeah. Well, six pounds. Yeah. You know, but solid. <laughs> For a sockeye. But look at the fly they've been ripping. Yeah. And I showed I went to the bench. It's got to be that they like that blue with the with you the. Oh, it's well, it's a combination, right? You've got the black and the blue, which the bruiser colors, but just that little, that little rubbery. Yeah, the, the rubber legs. legs. Because they just sit there and flick in the water. Wobble, well, maybe must drive, them, must drive them crazy. Yeah, because well, they're not, they're not sockeye, crazy. you don't often get them in the mouth, like no, in the off no. the outside. But these guys are actually they're, chomping they're, the fly. they're not happy with it. No, it's in their way, and they're they're nasty. They're grabbing they're, they're it. Grabbing so they're. It. Aggressive, just like steelhead. Yeah. I mean, we've proven that, right? Yeah, some of them are boiling on the top, some are taking it when it's just sitting there doing this. It drives them crazy. So they'll eat. A sockeye will actually take a Well, I don't know if he'll think. eat. No, he'll, but I mean, he'll yeah, grab he'll, at it. grab yeah. at it, but he's, I think he's, uh, no, he's, he's mad. He's angry. <laughs> he's angry. <laughs> but those are them. Great yeah. patterns. I don't know what this guy is. He was big. I just let it trail out in that little, just over the ledge there, and the fly was just sitting there dangling away, and he just came up and grabbed it. So I don't know what it is. It, whatever it was, it was big. Maybe it's a... Do we need the net? I don't know. I, I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's just a big sockeye again. It's a oh, big it is. sockeye. It's a sockeye again. Boy, and he just, oh. he just attacked it. We just <laughs> Oh, look at the back. Look at his back fin. Huh. Look at it. He's being chomped. Oh, he's been chomped by that chomped seal. By the that seal. seal that's below us yeah, down the there. Yeah, seal's below us. He's freshly he? been chomped. Yeah, he has been chomped. Yeah, look at that. You can see the oh, damage. Oh, man, when he hit, he came right on the top and just grabbed it aggressively. <laughs> like, really aggressively. Yeah, look at his. Yeah, uh, yeah he really. He yeah. really went after he, well, it right on top. On the other side, though. Like, oh. Yeah, but look at the other side of him. Yeah, the seal must have got him, eh? Yeah. Look oh at yeah, look at. He's been skinned there. He's being, he, yeah. But well, he's still migrating. Good for him. He's got many lives. Yeah, yeah. You no didn't kidding. bonk him. Seal didn't well, get him. We're not, uh, we're not harvesting. It's what a know, what, it's kind of gone. a crazy day. What are you thinking today? You think it does have something to do with that commercial fishery or what? Oh, I did. well, I don't know. Like, I mean, you know, they, that's what they targeted was the sockeye. But it just seems that we can't get any other species. I know, that's it. It's just sockeye migrating. Mm. And uh, But one thing we did for with those little rubber leg flies, and again, I used that's that awesome. on the Kitimat last year for coho, and they loved yeah. it, like just the vibrating I rubber. Know. I know. I think for a tail, that's the best thing in the world. So, but I don't think we've ever it, it, in this using these flies hooked so many sockeye in the mouth. Like in that intruder the style, right? The nice intruder yeah. style and everything else. No, I know because they're just driving them nuts. Hmm. Yeah, because look where you're fishing. You're letting it I know. I'm swing just out, it, tail I'm out, out in there. That little foamy water back there is just going. Blah, 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 and they're, just, they're going crazy. I don't well, get it. I want a steelhead. Darn it! I want a coho too. I want anything but a sockeye. <laughs> Wow, that guy just hit it right at the, just sitting there. I don't know what it is though. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a sockeye. It looks too big to be a sockeye. Man, it's holding out there. I can't, can't move it. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a smaller Chinook. I don't know, can't tell. He's just not moving. I can't move him, he's big. That's a black tail. That's a coho. Is it a coho? Yeah. It's a nice. black tail like that. Well, I don't know. Should be I, a got, I can't see him. I can't see him. That's how we could tell with mine with the black. See the black tail? Oh, yeah. Coho. Oh, whatever. It's a nice coho. We got all kinds of problems here. Oh, we got wood. Oh, <laughs> Better to man. march them up here, eh? There it is. Flies out. Oh, man. I got that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you don't get help. But that's the fly. They're loving it. Even the coho are whacking that now. It's unreal. Dale's letting go of his little sockeye. That's great to see the coho coming through. 
Look, he's splashed everywhere. <laughs> wow. And uh, I think we got the camera a little wet too. <laughs> Sorry, Les. That's the way it goes. Well, right off the bat with the purple. Wow. Second cast with purple. I still haven't had a good luck. Just coming in, but it's either, I think it's either a coho or a steelhead because it's just not coming out of that softer water. The sockeye tend to move out of that softer water in a hurry. And this guy's just holding in that fast flow out there. So the only way to get him out of there a lot of times, you gotta keep backing up. You know, you think you could just reel them up, but for some reason, if you just keep backing up along the shoreline, they tend to follow you upstream. Okay, look at that's what I put on. Oh, nice coho again. Look at how fat they are. Look at that, just sea lace just coming off them. I mean, these are fresh, fresh coho. Look at that. Look at how fat they are. Wow. They don't take any time. They just changed over. Essentially, I had my, uh, the one we showed you on the bench. And of course, Brent's like me, ties, uh, ties one pattern of each one. So I went back in the box and found this one. And it's purple, so it's just again a purple version. Got the purple color, the black, purple flash, and the purple rubber legs with the intruder style with the stinger hook. Second cast, bang. So the coho love it, now I want to get a steelhead. Oh, this is unreal, it's awesome. Well, I think that's a day. That's a wrap, <laughs> and what a day. <laughs> yeah. My bad. I know. How many, how many sockeye? Had to be 50 plus, eh? Probably 50. I know, that's just like insane. That is the most insane sockeye day, and big. Some of them were yeah, big. Yeah, biggest I've ever seen, and they love the little rubber leg guy. You know, we showed you on the bench, we're gonna have to come up with some cool names for those rubber leg patterns. We're up here for the whole week, you know, which is beautiful. Expecting super hot weather coming up, aren't we? Like in the 30s. Exactly. That's you know, the last we're today. supposed to see of the clouds today. So that's that. probably not a good thing. You know, we didn't have any steelhead. We only had, well, Rickster. Rick. Had, had the 20 one, pounder. 20 pounder. <laughs> yeah, well, that happens too. Hey, but I want to thank the Copper River Hotel for putting us up yeah. for the whole week. Of course, the Rickster, Rick Hansen, for joining us. He always, always fun to have along. Bulldog for joining me. But when you come out here, we got to take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time. We take you sport fishing on the fly. Yeah! <laughs>